In 2017, Grant and I picked up a new property or hunting lease. It wasn't very big. It didn't have a ton of diversity on it, but nonetheless, we were excited to hunt it. Um, we went through the works and hung our trail cameras and started to develop history and a catalog of deer. And one of those bucks that we cataloged was one we named or dubbed the Short Time 10. At the time, given the short amount of history we had with the farm, we put him at three and a half. We're gonna go make some scrapes. <laughs> so many vines and stuff right here. It's like putting seasoning on a burger. Oh yeah. They're soaking. No, it's dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. We're on our lease in Mercer County, and it's kind of like, last year we hunted here, we didn't kill a single deer. Uh, we really were debating on whether or not it was gonna come to fruition, if this is a property we wanted to maintain and hold. And this area, the farmer had just let go. It's a giant weed patch, and with the help of our friends, the airings, and uh, a little bit of elbow grease, we turned this three acre field of just weeds, and there was a whole bunch of small cottonwoods in here, into three acres of double planted standing beans. So this will be a telltale year of how this, this new lease is gonna hunt. We put a new elevated blind up. We came in with the brush hog, as you can see, we're designing scrape lines and rub lines and it's gonna hunt a lot different. And hopefully it pays off. We'll put the seat out, check cameras, freshen scrapes, throw the sand up, and hopefully get home in time for a little soiree. Yeah. Well, tonight is a special night because Garrett and I's first deer hunt of 2018 is tonight. So we just got back from our antelope trip on Monday. Really good time, he, I, and Jeff. And uh, it was a really fast hunt. And hopefully tonight, Garrett and I can have some luck. It's the first whitetail season. Um, first day that we can hunt so it's actually about a little below 50 degrees right now so it's the first major cold front we've got in October so we're expecting big things we're going to a farm that we only uh, got to hunt one time last year because we acquired it slightly later than we would have obviously wanted so we didn't get time to do everything we wanted necessary in the summer but this season we did so we're gonna be hunting it a lot harder this year
That's hilarious. It's like shaving cream. Uh, I just gotta get mm, Fuck you. Oh yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it looks like we just silly strength. <laughs> like junior high kids. So as Garrett said, in the 2017 deer season, this short tine 10 um, was not the most mature deer on this farm we picked up, so we targeted other deer. Fast forward to 2018, he was quite a bit larger on trail camera. His body had really substantially filled out. So Garrett and I knew he would be on the list. Now it was two days after we had gotten back from Colorado. It was actually October 9th, I believe. And Garrett and I were hunting this property for the first time. And just because of the difference of height elevation between our eyes, um, I sat about 16 inches lower than he did, and he actually said, Grant, there's a big deer over there. Are you videotaping him? No way. And the first time I looked up, I didn't believe him, um, because the only deer I saw was a spike and a forky, and I was thinking, Garrett, what are you seeing that I'm not? And then Josh stepped out, and that's kind of how we ended up giving him the name Josh, kind of like he was kidding with me, joshing with me, because I didn't think that deer existed. I thought he was pulling my leg the first time we saw him. So he walks off. We gave him a few light grunts. He wasn't very interested. He made a scrape, and we knew he was going to be in the area. Um, so that gave us a good game plan going forward. season but it's crazy to think that less than a week ago grant jeff and i all went out to colorado and killed three antelope so needless to say we started our season off phenomenally we're in a stand grant and i hunted here last night we saw one of our hit listers about 110 yards away same exact wind it's rainy a little bit colder but a lot calmer we saw our first tree yesterday at six it is just after five by the time we messed around so we're sitting in here and just seeing if we can't turn an arrow red. I'm definitely not a shoot with the quiver on kind of guy. I am a shoot with the quiver off kind of guy. And I guess now it's officially begun. The following day, I was up to bat to film Garrett, and Josh was across the valley. Garrett grunted, of course, on a beeline, came straight to us. He's coming this way. Holy Hear him.
I drilled him, didn't I? He's down. Did that just happen? Dude, this is the first day I've been in a freaking deer stand. We knew that deer was in here, man. He's not, he's not even 40 yards. Just... I hit him good, didn't I? That's a nice bluff. He's dead. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up, dude. Come on, Grant. Pick up, man. Pick he, up. He knows better, too. He, he better pick yeah. up. God dang it, Grant, you're not gonna pick up. Come on, dude. We wouldn't be calling you at five o'clock for no reason. God dang it. What are they doing, sitting on their thumbs? Hey, I just smoked a buck. I just shot a damn nice deer. I'm not, I'm looking at my Instagram, or Instagram story, he's dead. I, he's 35 yards from the tree. He's dead. He's laying in the cornfield. We're going to party tonight, buddy. I killed that buck we filmed last night. Yeah. At, out in New Windsor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I grunted him. Oh, my God. This, this is the first time I've hunted for, in Illinois. The first time I've hunted. I, I, I killed the buck on my opening day. We'll be home in a little. I forgot. I, or I left my phone in the truck. So I'm going to make a couple more phone calls and I'll see you at home. Love you, bye. I'm glad I trimmed that shooting lane. Wow, am I glad I trimmed that shooting lane. I... <laughs> yeah. I need to play lottery. Can we go find my arrow first? Yeah. No, we're going to go see him. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. Ooh, he's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid deer. Punch right through him. Look at that, man. That is a good looking hill. There's the old sling fire. It worked. Sure, sure yeah, it did. Man, <laughs> first red arrow of the year. It's on a dandy buck. Uh, and it's the first year I've ever shot with this new sling fire, Ben AP. And I mean, when they only run 30 yards. Proofs in the head, I guess. The first time I've ever sat in a stand this year, this season. It's the latest I've ever hunted for my opener, but by far the most successful. Last night, Grant and I sat in that same stand and we were on really dope patrol. This buck came out and he worked two scrapes over there. And um, tonight, realistically, another dope patrol mission. And um, sure enough, this guy came out. He actually nudged a couple does. Um, and I gave him a couple sweet kisses on the Night Hill Natural, and I mean, he walked a string right over to me. I shot him at 34 yards, and he didn't run 40. So, not too bad for the first sit of my 2018 2019 whitetail season. <sighs> there she being. And now it's visual. Which end do you want? I guess I'll get the heavy end. What, the, the rump? The stronger. <laughs> Definitely stronger. <laughs> that is a nice coin purse. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Whoa. Yeah. You got that side? Yep. Wait. Ready? Yep. Out of my gun. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Wow, I'm just used to an antelope, I guess. Okay. Yep. He's definitely bigger. 
We got a good one. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Thanks. Oh. Man, you drilled it. I waited for one little clump of shit to draw behind. And Jeff's like, you better kill him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he died right behind the tree. Like Just Jeff. Whoosh. Oh, yeah. Like butter. Oh, man. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed our show, and if you're currently watching this on Carbon TV, feel free to go up to the upper left-hand corner of the screen and up our Carbon score. That would really help us out a lot. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, bottom right, it's the big red one. And if you guys have never um, followed us on social media before, that's where all of our great photo and short clips are. So definitely check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, because we're constantly updating those sites daily. So um, we really appreciate the support. Thank you.